this Ethiopian right here, all right, um, this is a news article that we caught a little bit earlier, and we haven't saved it yet, but we want you to check it out if you get a chance, MSNBC, you know, MSNBC News, so it's on the MSN um, channel in their circle of news. Um, or circus of news. Anyway, American seeks political asylum in Sweden, alleging torture and FBI coercion. So we kept seeing his face. We said that this brother here looks like an Ethiopian. You know, something about the face just kept coming up, and then we kept seeing that said American citizen. So this right here is American citizen um, Jonas Fikra. And he has spent the past seven months in Stockholm, Sweden, where he is seeking asylum. So his story is um, very interesting and thought-provoking, especially in us speaking about um, sovereignty and reclaiming, you know, reclaiming our, our citizenship, you know, our true citizenship in the promised land that we have these kind of cases going on. Now, the exact details of it is interesting. It seems as though the Americans wanted him to, um, you know, go undercover, you know, go undercover among his, I think he's a Muslim. He's right here, so he's 33 years old and says that he spent more than three months in Dubai detention center in 2011 in a lengthy um, Skype interview with MSN, bc.com he describes sleeping on the concrete floor of a rigid jail cell and enduring irregular interrogation beatings and stress positions that caused him to collapse or black out now his home being a u.s citizen his home was in um, portland oregon portland oregon right um, but he says that his American lawyer says they believe it was orchestrated by the FBI in connection with an investigation in Portland. And they maintain that uh, Fikra's um, inclusion on the no-fly list, which bars him from boarding U.S. bounds flight, has been used as a tool to, to coerce information, not because he presents a risk to U.S. flight. So it appears that he was seeking to do some business, you know, as a naturalized um, American citizen who has, it seems, um, an Ethiopian name, so he's an Ethiopian um, um, Muslim, and says there is a practice and policy by the FBI to gratuitously deny the rights of American Muslims, particularly naturalized immigrant Muslims when they want to get more information says Thomas Nelson a Portland attorney representing Fikra in the case of Mr. Fikra we believe and will allege that they also engage in torture by proxy that is shocking this is a dark day for America so this is just further evidence of what's going on and ones have to prepare and, and come out of Babylon, you know what I mean? And there's certain steps that one should go through, you know, to make sure that it is um, lawful, you know what I mean? Lawful, you know, and, and that's a key word for us, especially as Rastafari, you know, the law. When you really understand that it goes beyond just Babylon's law. If we place ourselves under Jah's law, then Jah will protect, will guide, and will guide us out. If we place ourselves on the Babylon's law, then we are subject to a lot of these um, strange and unusual and evil practices. So this story right here caught our attention, and we're going to go over it in a little more um, detail because he says he, he chose Sudan as a business destination, right? And this could be a part of it, too, because his family had lived there when he was a child after fleeing civil war in Eritrea. In 1991, his immediate family immigrated to the United States and later became citizens. So he's a, he's a U.S. citizen. But he still has relatives 
in Sudan, he says the agents told him, um, told him couldn't do business in Sudan due to the due to U.S. Sa sanctions. So he made his way to the United Arab Emirates, where he had a friend, and started over. So now this brother, he's in, um, he's in not that brother there, this brother right here, this brother Johannes Fikra. You understand? If you want to get his name, check it out right there. Johannes Fikra um, is in uh, Sweden. Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, Jonas. Uh, you could, uh, thank you. Yeah, Jonas. Jonas Fikra. Jonas Fikra. Fikra. All right? So check out more about this brother's story right here, you know, as it's part of the, the, the big picture. You know what I mean? Remember, they came for this one. They came for that one. If we don't say anything and get aware... When they come for us, there might be no one left to say anything. But hopefully, my brothers, a word to the wise is sufficient. So, Shalom Ras Tafari. And uh, Berta Yonah.